What's up guys, today is the battle of the cocktail makers. Um, I like to call them cocktail robots, but we have Eve Artesian versus the Bev. Um, I've had the Bartesian now for a little over a year. It's a cool machine, just gotta keep it clean, gotta maintain it, otherwise it'll get messy. We'll talk about that later. The Bev, as you can see, um, made by Black & Decker. Um, it displays the bottles, has cool lights. Uh, let's make a couple cocktails and uh, we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. So quick side-by-side, -side, Bartesian and the Bev. Have about the same footprint, the Bev's a little bit taller. Um, Bartesian has these four bottles, uh, which will you know fill with your um, favorite uh, alcohol. Um, however, the rum bottles on the left rear side so you have to swap that out for if you want to make a gin cocktail. So, whereas this has five slots um, to put all of the different um, alcohols, you won't have to switch bottles. And it has a, a straw method as opposed to the gravity method of the Bartesian. All right, let's make a couple margaritas. This up. Put the pot in. What we want to do is with two hands, so you really want to hear a clicking noise. There you go. So you heard that click. And what I like about the Rotation has this touch screen here. We go next. Next, we'll just do regular. No, I'm not doing strong, but we'll do regular for today. And hit mix. And then out comes the cocktail. What's cool about the Bev and the Bartesian is they actually both use the Bartesian cocktail pods. So, if you've already invested in the one, then you won't need to get any new pods. You can just move them on over. Now with the, so now it's done, cheers, you pull your pot out. And this actually hold, get the pot out. Throw that away. But this piece comes out too. I recommend rinsing this one pretty much after each each use. Um, I'll do that later, but yeah, you want to rinse that every use so it doesn't get all sticky and start shooting the cocktail in other directions. Um, all right, so the Bev actually has these really cool lights that light up the bottles. Um, when the room's dark, it actually looks pretty cool when you can actually have it move lights from one place to the other, but same deal, lift the thing up. Cocktail pod goes sideways in here, nice and tight. You want to hear that click. Now this one doesn't have a touch screen. You can go, so that's no alcohol, light alcohol, uh, regular, and strong. We'll just go regular today and push the mix button. It's also a strange thing about the Bev, you can see the water reservoir there in the back. It's, you know, it's got its own water bottle, which is good. It'll remind you to change the water um, constantly. All right, taste tests. All right, quick uh, margarita taste test. This is the uh, Bartesian margarita. Pretty good. And this is the Bev margarita. Um, both really good. The, um, Bev one actually came out stronger, um, which I like. I just, uh, I found that surprising. Um, the Bartesian one was a little bit more sweet, a little bit more, uh, well mixed. Um, I'm not sure if all the syrup went to the bottom and I gotta give this a stir. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's good. It's just, uh. Yeah, the uh, the, Bev, the Bev one makes stronger cocktails. That's actually surprising. The the the, the uh, exact same tequila, so I expect them to taste exactly the same. Um, I, I like the way the Bartesian one tastes a little bit better, just because. All right, let's do the Bev again. We're doing it old fashioned this time, and what I like to do with these uh, Bartesian uh, capsules is just shake them a little bit, just to 
mix up the simple syrup in there. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. Hey, all right. Click. I've already got it set to normal. Let's push the button. And back to the Partesian, old fashioned capsule. Give it a little shake. Of course, as I was shooting that video about Bartesians, it had a malfunction. Um, basically, <clears throat> there's a little scanner right here. And basically you gotta make sure you wipe this thing down regularly and you gotta wipe the scanner down regularly. Otherwise it won't read that little barcode on the top of the pod. So it's having issues with that. So I could probably do a whole video on how to maintain your Bartesian. But <clears throat> right now we're gonna do the taste tests. All right, um, taste test time. Bartesian first. Bev next. Also really good. Um, you know, I, I do feel like the Bartesian ones taste a little bit better. For, um, some people may mind the bill taste difference. Um, I use Buffalo Trace bourbon in both machines. Um, but the Bartesian cocktails just kind of taste better to me. All right, so we've had a couple cocktails from each machine. Um, if I had to choose, I would still go with the Bartesian, even though it feels like it requires a little bit more maintenance. I feel like the cocktails taste better. And uh, I don't know, I think I just like the look of it. I like the touch screen. Uh, the Bev is super cool. I really like the lights. Um, and if the promise of low maintenance, um, I mean, it's brand new out of the box, but if the it promises lower maintenance, and the um, display of the you know your choice of um, alcohol and the lights are really really cool so um i can see why people like it can't go wrong either way but my vote's the bartesian cheers